Hey guys, so recently there's been a lot of buzz about RuneScape accounts being hacked and people are starting to get worried, thinking that their accounts are going to get hacked and all. But before I go into how you can secure your account, I want to first talk about how these accounts are being hacked. Keep in mind that this is not fact, this is my opinion based on what I have found about these accounts being hacked. You could still get hacked after this video. I am just saying I am trying to give you a certain amount of information that you might not know before. If you did know this information before, then you don't even need to watch this video. So, when I hear about these accounts being hacked, I often hear about them from the 2007 old school RuneScape subreddit. People often give a list as to what protection they had, you know, this whole big list they had authenticated, blah, 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 blah. And when I look through all of these posts, they are skipping out on one little thing. There's one little detail that people are missing out on. And everyone, even in the comments, no one's really understanding it. No one's really pointing this out. So the one little detail, at least uh, on the majority of the posts, uh, has been that they do not have two-step verification on their email. Now, you guys might be trying to argue, you might, might be thinking, they shouldn't have to have two-step verification on their email. They probably have, you know, if they have two-step verification on their RuneScape account, that should be enough. Well, no, because unfortunately, the RuneScape authenticator is kind of useless if I do have your email address. So, how would I get your email address, someone who doesn't even know how to hack? Well, it's simple. First off, I can scroll through the persons. Like, let's say um, they were hacked or they weren't hacked. It doesn't matter. I can just find some random person. You know, they post a picture of uh, how they just got an Ellie drop or something on the uh, on the you know 2007 subreddit. And let's say I wanted to target them for hacking. And I'm someone. Keep in mind, I'm someone that has little to no idea on how to hack, but I do have the resources capable of doing it. I don't have the all these tools, so. What I first do is I'm going to go onto your profile, your Reddit profile, and I'm going to start scrolling through all of your information, all the posts, all the subreddits you post on. Sometimes people like to even post on subreddits about where they're from or things like where they're from. So let's say there's like a New York subreddit because I'm from New York. So there's like this New York subreddit. And, you know, people will post whatever, like blah, 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 blah. You know, like I'm from. Uh, I don't fucking know. I'm from Queens, you know, and blah, 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 you know, there's this event going on. So you get the point. So I post that bit of information or they post, you know, whatever bit of information here and there. And I just get all this little information from you. And then with all of this information, I can start searching all of this on Google. I can or whatever other crappy, you know, Bing, whatever. I search all of your information on Google, you know, all of these things and all of your old accounts pop up because you more likely than not with these cases, you have probably made accounts on different websites. So, you know, you use the same email for things, you know, you use similar usernames. You use similar passwords. I go through all of these things, all of these accounts, and let's say I find a little bit of information on, I don't know, I'm going to use a random website. I, I don't even think it's like matters anymore. I find your real life information on MySpace, or I find it on this or that, or it doesn't matter. All I have to do is use what information I have to hack that account because maybe MySpace doesn't have uh, a really you know dedicated uh, account security team so maybe I can hack into your email like that maybe it's that easy so I hack into that email and then I look through that uh, or not that email that account and then I look through all of that information I see what's on your account I see that you live here or whatever of, uh, of course all of this information is hidden on the profile but it's not hidden if I hack into your account so then I get all of this information and then when I think I have a sufficient amount of information I use your email I don't even have to hack into your email I use your email address that I found that you use for your RuneScape account because more likely than not you use the same email for everything I found all of your information uh, about you in the past and of course not this real information is not really going to change I found old usernames you had I might have even found old passwords so then with all of this information I use that to uh, recover your RuneScape account and with the overwhelming amount of information I might have without hacking into your email I could probably get your account because all it really takes is having the appropriate information to get your account hacked so you may be thinking, well, you know, I have uh, Authenticator enabled and everything, and I don't have any information anywhere. Okay, well, I could, if I still get access to your account, 
with two-step verification, all I need to do is sign into your account. When you're not using it, I need to send a change password request or something along those lines, or I need to get you to recover your email. I need to scare you enough to turn your authenticator off, and then I'm going to be able to hack into your account like that. It's going to be that easy. So with all of this information in mind, of course, again, this might not be fact. So with all of this information in mind, you may be thinking, okay, I have all of that done, but it's still OS Buddy who is hacking me because I have OS Buddy downloaded and you know I still got hacked, this or that or whatever. Well, even if all of that is the case, more likely than not, someone just had your information from some sort of something because it's you don't just get hacked out of thin air. It's not some sort of magic. There's no, you know, there's no secret magic trick to doing this. All it is is getting your information. Someone has to become close enough to you, learn whatever information they uh, need to get from you. All they need to do, if they're good at social engineering, they'll just ask a few different types of questions and then they have all the information they need. So a lot of the times I honestly do think it's people just being careless with their information. So pretty much to recap, the issue that most people face, in my opinion, is that they're leaving an overwhelming amount of information online, which is easily traceable. The issue is not really OS Buddy. So I have personally scanned the file with many different types of programs and not really found anything. Well, not many different types, but I've scanned the file on multiple occasions with different programs because I had my doubts at first when I saw all of this. But still, I scanned it, nothing. Other people have scanned it, nothing. And people might be thinking, well, you can always push you know, a live update. Well, the few people that are in charge of the live updates, at least according to OS Buddy, which I don't think they would lie about that, seeing as how they make about 80 grand a month, is um, a bun- it's the people that really don't have any sort of interest in hacking these accounts. So I will say... Is it possible for them to be doing it? Of course, anything is possible. But do I think they are doing it? No, because as I said, they make 80 grand a month simply based off their stats. I didn't just pull that figure out of my butt. I saw how many OS Buddy Pro users they have, and then uh, I believe a subscription is 2.99 or something like that. I could be wrong, but I've seen the figure before. I've I did the math uh, a few I think a few days ago actually, but they're making a lot of money per month to be hacking so it's pretty much not worth their time if people uh find out that these guys are hacking then it's not just gonna blow over if there is alarming like a substantial amount of evidence against them i can guarantee we probably would have found out by now so you guys might be saying that there is a bit of evidence against one of the members of OS Buddy, and obviously his name is Matthew because everyone's saying that Matthew used to be the guy who hacked all of these accounts. Well, first of all, Matthew, again, doesn't have access to pushing these updates, but even if he did, I don't think he would. So, again, I could be wrong, but still, that's my opinion. And uh, a bit of evidence against Matt was saying how Matthew was standing next to someone who got hacked. Okay, so just because he's standing next to someone who got hacked doesn't mean that's evidence that he is involved in that hacking. Maybe he knew about it. Do you want to know how many times you guys have probably stood next to people being lured, hacked, or scams without being involved? A lot. People stand places. It's not something new. It's not evidence in and of itself. With all this information moving forward, what should you do? Well, first of all, scan your computer with malware antibytes. Uh, You may be thinking, I don't have a virus on my computer. Well, I don't care if you don't have a virus on your computer. You're going to scan it. Scan it, full scan, do whatever, you know, pops up with no viruses. Woo, great. Now you scan it. Now you know that there's no viruses on your computer. doesn't matter. So after that, you're going to make a new Gmail account. You're going to make a new Gmail account and put two-step verification on it. No one's going to know what this Gmail account is. You're not going to use this as a login. You're not going to show this on stream. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to put this new email address. No one gets to know it, not your grandma. And then you're going to put two-step verification on it, as I said. And then you're going to put two-step verification or two-step authentication on your RuneScape account. And then you're going to link your RuneScape account with this two-step authentication. And you're going to put that to your new Gmail account that nobody knows about that also has two-step verification. So you're going to do that. Then... 
you are going to put a bank pin on your RuneScape account. I don't care how secure your account is. If you do not have a bank pin on your RuneScape account, you are an idiot. You need to put a bank pin on your RuneScape account. It is the last line of defense. It doesn't matter if you've never been hacked. Even if you if you've never been hacked at all, there, you've never had a single problem. You you've you know avoided everything I've said, and you know you're the smartest person ever, and you don't have a bank pin. I don't care who you are. You're an idiot. You need to put a bank pin on your RuneScape account because that could save you from losing months and months and months of work and whatever you did on this game in f seconds flat minutes so put a bank pin on your runescape account after that you are going to follow the guide that again i think i said this if not you're going to follow the guide that i put in the description that is the official guide that jagex themselves have put out on how to avoid being hacked because this is the information that they've gotten over the many years and you guys may be thinking jagex you know are a bunch of idiots and you know, it's because of them that we're being hacked. But no, it's not really because of them. It's because, of, again, I wouldn't be making this video if people weren't getting hacked. If people weren't getting hacked, they wouldn't be uh, blaming Jagex. So the simple fact that they're blaming Jagex without even looking at what they have done themselves kind of makes me think that you guys, well, not you guys, but these people who are being hacked don't really take the appropriate steps to avoid getting hacked i thought i was again like i've been hacked in the past like i thought i was smart i'm not smart if i got hacked though that's the point it doesn't matter how smart i think i am it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna follow the guide you're gonna do everything there and i'm not gonna say it's 100 percent you know safe that you're not gonna get hacked but in my opinion you should have a lot better of a time and a lot less of a chance of being hacked so if you choose not to follow this video then whatever I'm just trying to give information hackers are really smart they really know how to do a lot of things that's why they are able to do this so I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more defense maybe this whole guide you know could be overthrown by one simple thing I don't know this is just my opinion I'm trying to help you guys out other than that I have nothing else to say so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys secure your RuneScape accounts and I hope I don't get hacked after this thank you goodbye